Hey guys, Glenn Traer, Mountain Man Journals, Traer Wilderness. Today I'm going to do a video on a new tool that um, I've been working with uh, Jamie Burley on. Um, I can't necessarily take credit for this idea. It was uh, Jamie's idea and I just kind of uh, helped him out and I'm making it and, and stuff. Um, Feeling a little better from my cold. Um, still got little sniffles and stuff, but I gotta thank George um, for helping me out with the herbs and stuff. Thank you, George. Appreciate it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some different uh, applications that this new fire tool that I came out well that I helped Jamie um, do. Um, I'm going to show you how this all works. Um, what I'm going to do here is grab, grab it out of here. Oh, drill. Okay. This is it. Take my gloves off so you can see a little better, probably. <coughs> it's uh, got a knife edge on this side um, real aggressive rasp on this side a flathead screwdriver uh, flint and steel over here um, uh, another file a thinner file for on the side um, place for your uh, spindle for your uh, bow drill and uh, you know this knife edge. It's kind of like a knife edge scraper, you know, whatever. I mean, you can use this thing for, like here, if you're making uh, feather sticks. You can see how that shaves. I can shave real nice feathers. up off of there with this thing I mean this this thing does awesome job and so you can also take and use it you know like if you're filing it if you're working on something uh, making handles for something or if, then if you need to get a little more aggressive um, with the rasp, is taken. You know, you can get really aggressive with that. Um, screwdriver on this end, um, you can use, uh, you know, for whatever. You know, you, you can also use it, like Jamie said, for scoring bone. You know that sharp edge, your scoring bone to break it. Um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can use it for, uh, see, like your, you know, here's your flint and steel. Hopefully, you can see the sparks. your flint and steel set um, and this here also this thing fits inside your Altoids tin so you uh, you know it, it replace your your fire striker this is just uh, one I made quite a while ago but it can replace replace that um, all, all kinds of things. I mean, the, the uses of that thing, the Traer Fire Tool is what it's called. The, the uses of this tool um, are just incredible. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use this and show you uh, a bow drill uh, at work with this. 
Um, what I do is I take uh, in the top here, I already have a fireboard set up here. You can see I've already burned in different places before. Um, but what I what you can do is take and shave this down. So you can use this tool for just a incredible amount of stuff. Now, what I do is I take and take my spindle and I see my size and I come back in here so I know roughly where I want the center of that to be. Then I take the corner of this tool and I just go like this. Just run like that the corner of that knife edge and that started your hole you can also use this for shaving your you know the top that go in your bearing bearing block in the in the tool and just shave that down um, Make this a little smaller here. Everybody's way of doing a bow drill is different. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 all have the same concept, but everybody seems to have their own different methods that they use their own different things so that's this is just how I I do it I'm gonna go down here um, I want to show you something that I do is uh, I take in uh, in the top here now you can use whatever you want but uh, what I like to do is I take some of this uh, Burley Bomb from uh, Jamie. Uh, I take some of this. It's a salve. Awesome stuff. You guys want a good salve that works? I use it on my fire piston for to seal the O-ring um, in my for my bearing block here um, on cuts. All kinds of stuff. This stuff is awesome. Uh, go check it out. Um, get in touch with Jamie. Um, this this salve is incredible. So, anyways, take a little bit of this burly bomb. Just a just I don't need much, and I just smear it up in in there. Set that to the side. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take and uh, get my hole burned in. I'm just using my piece here for my bearing block. Okay, got that burnt down in there. <coughs> now, you can also use this tool to cut your V in. Um, it's, to be honest, it's a little easier using your knife and a saw than um, this point I think personally um, what I like to do I like it. 
Okay, what I like to do is take and take my saw and uh, cut right, right down in there. Um, like I said, every everybody does their uh, their bow drill different. I mean, it's. I'm not here to uh, show you how to do a bow drill or whatever, but so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and see if we can get us an ember for uh, the bow drill. Okay, we got an ember. You can see it hopefully smoking there. Bring this up here to the camera so you can see the ember smoking. That's a nice big ember right there, guys. That's awesome. Uh, that's just a piece of uh, cottonwood that I have for my bow drill. But anyways, so excuse me. That's how you use your uh, trailer fire tool to uh, for the bow drill. And uh, like I said, if if you were making a bow. For you know, bow and arrow, obviously not. You know, for doing a fire piston. But if you're doing a bow and you were trying to cut in for where your string would go on the side of the uh, file or the fi the the tool, the side of this tool is a file that you can take and run that in. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, you know, and you could score that up and around and then back down. And that would be where your string, your knock point, is be, not your knock point, your uh, string point there, um, where your string would attach to your bow. So, I mean, this tool, there are so many different uses for this thing. You can use this for skinning, you know, skinning out game, this sharp sharp end here uh, and you touch it up a little bit more make it a little sharper um, than what it is but uh, I mean you just take that thing if you had to skin out a deer or whatever some kind of critter you could you could use that for your skinner and then, you know flesher or whatever so but I just wanted to uh, show you this new tool um, Hopefully you like it. You can go to our site at treyerwilderness.com and uh, purchase these. They are for sale. They're $25 a piece plus shipping. Um, it's just a, an awesome, awesome tool. Um, take and, and, and go check it out. See what you think. Get yourself one. And uh, go over there to Jamie Burley's site. Um, and uh, get you some burly bomb. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. So, uh, Jamie's site, uh, I'll have a link to his site right below um, that you can go and go over there and check him out. Awesome man. Incredible man. Um, 
Jamie, I appreciate all your help and everything you do for us. Uh, but uh, go check him out. So, guys, I guess with that being said, this has been a review on the Trayer Fire Tool. And uh, go check it out. I guess till next time, take care. God bless. And we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.